Good morning, comic book fans. Welcome back to Comics in 5 Minutes. I'm your other than no shorty. Today, we're going to be taking a look at our Wolverine Deep Cut. That's literally the name of the title, and also an actual deep cut. I, I feel like I've read a little bit about this before I picked it up to read, and it's basically just stories from Wolverine's past, which makes sense. They do tell you, like, um, roughly where we are in the continuity, and also you get to see Aurora's haircut, which does do a pretty good job of dating uh, any comic book you're reading. Um, and it is... Uh, very kind of standard Wolverine comic book in a couple of ways. And if you want to know my general thoughts on how Wolverine is written and the kind of stories he appears in, go back and check how it was my either Wolverine vs. Deadpool or my Hellverine thing, where I basically broke down the two basic story types you're going to get from him. Very short here, what we have is, isn't he awesome stabbing people with his stab, stabby, stabby knife fists? And isn't he full of trauma for all the stuff he's gone through, which means it's okay to enjoy him stabbing people with his knife fists? That's basically what we get through most of Wolverine comic books. This is actually both of them, and unfortunately I don't think it does either of them very well. We're going to talk about the fighty stuff first, because that is basically what this comic book is. Bar, I think, two cutscenes and an overly done monologue at the end, we are basically watching Wolverine and Sabretooth fight for the entire comic book. Not, like, spread out over multiple fight sequences. We are talking, this is just those two going at each other in the woods one night when it's snowing. And that's pretty much all we're going to get in terms of setting for it. Uh, and unfortunately... It doesn't work for me. A couple of reasons for this one. Number one, I think any fight scene that goes that long needs to be an awful lot better. I mean, you can look at movies like uh, Raid and uh, Dread, where they do have like very prolonged fight sequences, but they are absolutely captivating to watch. They are dynamic and dramatic and full of uh, nuance even in how they're shot. This is just a bunch of very, very cool fight scene poses thrown together while they're chatting with each other. And I want to say right now, I think the actual chat between the two characters is pretty damn good. I mean, again, I can't claim to be a massive Wolverine fan, but everything I know about both Wolverine and Sabretooth and their relationship together is coming across really effectively in the dialogue between the two characters. We do get that sense of uh, deep history and deep hatred, but also this idea that they can't live without each other. It's really quite nicely done, but it's one of the few things which I did really enjoy about the comic book. Because it doesn't have to be much to be that good. It is simple in its own way. These are two people in the middle of a fight scene, Trading barbs. And I've got to admit, there's one other thing which, this isn't so much a thing I like, it's more that if they'd have done something I'd have really disliked it, because I've seen it before, specifically in Wolverine comic books, where we have characters engaged in huge over the top aerial um, dynamic posing, but having a very long conversation while mid jump. Um, thankfully, it didn't do it in this. They kind of, I think that's a lesson learned from the late 90s, early 2000s. I hopefully, I'm saying they don't do that anymore in comic books. They probably do. But they didn't in this one, so that's okay. But Going back to the actual fight scene, it is a lot of kind of still posed things. There are motion lines to show where people are moving to and from, and I, I in this situ particular situation, it didn't bother me quite as much because I think it needed it, because as I say, they are more dynamic posing. And it's also kind of boring in terms of how it's framed and presented. I think there are really good artists out there who can make a dynamic fight scene look dynamic. You can use your uh, page layout and where you're directing motion arcs to basically draw the eye over quite a complex fight scene over a page with multiple panels and multiple beats of action within the same panel, and it still makes sense if you know what you're doing. I'm thinking of uh, Cass Wingyard as Master of Form, um, the current artist on Mars Morales, his name I've totally forgotten off the top of my head, but also people like uh, Jorge Fones and Danny Warren Johnson. These people are really, really good at captivating with dynamic action, considering this is an art form based on still imagery. This is not that. This is actually kind of dull to say how much of the fight scene takes up in the comic book. And I guess dull is exactly the word I'd use, because we do also get those beats where we get to find out more about who Wolverine is, including, as a, a really cool moment with Aurora, where we are once again proved for the 27,000th time that Wolverine's claiming that he's the best of the areas that what he does is proven wrong because he just loses in a fight to Aurora. Before we get into that, I have had some people say, oh yeah, but you always have to pull back when he's fighting against people he's friends with. It's like, yeah, I've seen him get his ass kicked so many times, and he's not like Aurora was throwing a lightning bolt. He just gets beaten a lot. He's not great at what he does, guys. Um, but then we get to the end of it, after this fight scene where we find out, uh, as the fight's going on, lots of internal monologuing about his life at the moment, and the struggles he's going through, and his relationships, and why people are coming to uh, do him and his uh, loved one harm. And then we get a really long monologue at the end, where he's thanking his friends through psychic projection for being there, when effectively all they really did was be there. And it's just this big, long setup for the rest of the comic book. And it's just kind of over long. Doesn't leave much left in terms of like, wow, I wonder what's going to happen next. They just tell you what's going to be happening. I really hope there's going to be more to it than this, because it's Chris Claremont. 
And if you've clicked on this video because you've seen Wolverine mentioned anywhere, you know who Chris Claremont is. You know he's like a force breaker with it within the uh, fandom. But I personally just found this one to be a, a little bit of a letdown and not much of anything really. Um, we do have another Wolverine comic book to read and review this week, so let's see how that one goes. Though, until I see you again, though, look after yourself, everyone. Stay safe. Bye.